Hey, my name is Ion. Welcome back to Building LibreFlip. This is episode number 33 and today we will um, see if the suction box geometry is actually right. In uh, the forum thread, I linked the thread downstairs in the description, um, there was a discussion about the geometry of the suction box and the suction box has a 90 degree angle here. And that might be wrong. That might actually not be the right choice. Maybe we need a 100 degree angle. And there is only one way to find out. Right now, we have the light source up here. And the cameras here and there. And the light is bouncing to one of the glass, bouncing over and technically supposed to go out. But maybe there is a reflection somewhere on the glass. And to find out if there is a reflection on the glass, we just need to take a picture with the cameras and the light on and see if it actually works or not. Hey, and welcome back to Berlin LibreFlip. My name is Ion, and this is uh, LibreFlip, the automatic open source page turning book scanner that uh, we are building. In the last episode, I ended right before the end with a kind of a cliffhanger about an issue with the suction box. And today we want to find out if it actually exists. Right now I don't have a clue because we had an issue with the cameras, we couldn't initialize them. So we couldn't take a picture. And when we last took a picture with the cameras for test testing purposes, the lights up here weren't installed. So only now have we the opportunity to test if the geometry is right. And that is determined by the reflection that we will hopefully not see on the glass. If the angles are all perfect, then we are not having any reflections on the images that the camera produce. But if this angle is not correct, then we might see some, uh, some reflections and that would be bad because that would mean that the suction box needs to be redesigned. Um, right now this is a 90 degree angle and uh, someone who I think knows a bit about book scanners to, uh, and this came up in discussion on the forum DIYBookScanner.org um, was thinking that this angle might not be correct for the geometry that I picked here. So um, let's find out. I'm uh, really curious. Okay, so we took a picture and you see there is a clear reflection on it, but it's not on the page. And so now we need to experiment and see where the reflection moves when we move the light. That's not too bad. That's that might be fixable. Let's see what happens. So I have uh, found two uh, compact flashcards that I will now use as temporary distance pieces. Like this. And now let's see. Space Cookie, would you be so kind and take a picture? Okay, let's see. Let me take you over there. That looks a lot better. That is now like slanted and tilted, but it is higher, it's higher up. Okay. I think for now we can continue. I think that's actually good news. For now I think we can continue. I might uh, redesign this part and make a couple of versions to experiment with different positions of this uh, light because that's a really simple part. I can just print two or three of them and see how it ends up. And then we can uh, take a more scientific approach to this. But um, if I move it up, then the light moves outside of the page. Uh, at least it seems so and it's late and I'm super tired. So um, we are not going to do this today but um, in one of the next days and weeks. And I don't think a complete redesign of the suction box is needed. Maybe just the light holder needs to be changed a little bit and it'll be fine. That's the working theory right now. Let's see if uh, time proves me wrong or not. Because I am thinking about maybe we can get this uh, thing in a prototype uh, state where we can show off some of the features on an event coming up uh, and um, I was kind of on the fence about uh, doing this because if the suction box geometry would have been wrong, then this attempt would have been completely futile. But as it's uh, seemingly not so bad, uh, we can continue with evaluating that idea of bringing this machine to an event 
uh, soon. Um, yeah, that's it for tonight. As I said, the light in this corner is pretty shitty. I'm kind of sorry for that, and uh, maybe we can improve this in the future. For now, we have to make do with what kind of light we have. Thanks for watching. This was just one part of a longer series where I show all the steps how to make this page-turning open-source book scanner yourself.